now let's look at a next command being our replication command. This is around rep admin. So we're gonna use this for replication concerns and making sure that our domain controllers are in sync. They are replicating towards each other. Now check out one of the previous videos if you wanna hear a bit of an introduction around the importance of this command. So we're assuming that you know about this, but what we're gonna be doing is we've got two domain controllers. We've got our DC01, which is our primary DC, and we've got a second one, right? And we wanna make sure that they are replicating over correctly, that the data is being replicated, that users out on my network are replicating uh, correctly, they're authenticating correctly on our network. Now let's go ahead and do something in here. I'm gonna open up Active Directory, and of course, we've got our Active Directory environment right here. And we've got our OU on the left called Australia, and we've got computers and servers. So here is a list of all the servers that I've got that are authenticated, connected into Active Directory, and some of the computers that I've got in Active Directory. Now, I mentioned this is our DC01. So what we're gonna now do is we're gonna go ahead and open up our DC02. Now, I do have run this running in a VMware environment, so let's just open this up. Here is our DC02. I've got this open up in a console window, but I know this is my second domain controller. I've gone and I've built this domain controller. I've connected it into Active Directory, and I'm gonna go ahead and open up uh, our AD tools, Active Directory users and computers, and let's have a look at what this looks like. Because I'm experiencing some issues. There's something strange going on in my network. I can already see that this is running quite slow, so I may actually need a reboot if it's been powered on for some time. What's going on here? Let's try again. All right, uh, and already something looks different. I've got Australia, I've got computers, I've got servers and I've got users. If I go back to my other server, I'm actually missing one here. Storage is not listed as an OU. And under computers, oh, there's my other window. I've only got two computers in here. And under servers, I've only got three servers in here. While under here, I've actually got a whole list of other servers that are not actually being shown up. Now what's gonna happen is mail servo one, here it is, mail servo one, here it is. Now if it's gonna log in, um, is, this, is this the correct one that it's gonna be logging in against or authenticating with or is it this one? And why don't all these other servers show up in here? Users is probably out of whack as well. So you can already see straight away, we've got a problem. Things are not working correctly. So potentially computers out on my network servers out on my network that are trying to authenticate or connect to this server, to this domain controller, to perhaps DNS that's running on here is not working correctly. I already can see this. So let's go ahead and do something. Let's go and actually open up our PowerShell command, our Active Directory module for PowerShell. We're gonna run that as an administrator. And we're going to run our command. Remember I mentioned uh, rep admin. If I just type it right here, um, it's gonna show me a whole bunch of commands that I can run against it. So do familiarize yourself with at least a few. There's a couple of commands that I like to use quite regularly, which we'll talk about in this video, but there are some other ones in here which are actually really, really good. Now the two commands that I'm gonna be using is a forward slash show REPL and a, and a forward slash sync all. So the first one being to see if replication is working. The second one is to sync our DC. So let's just actually uh, go into here, let's just clear this window. And we're gonna do a rep admin, and we're gonna do a forward slash show REPL. So show replication, see if replication is working. Now, here we go, we've got a problem. We've got a problem. Now, remember this is 01, okay? This is 01, this is our primary DC, you can see right here, DC serve 01, there it is listed. And it's trying to replicate against DC serve 02 via RPC, but the RPC server is unavailable. We've got a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Here we go, it's trying to re-attempt. It's doing some other checks around configuration, schema, domain DNS zone, and it's literally failing across all of them. The remote system is not available for information. See Windows help, okay? There you go, there's a problem, right? We had heaps of consecutive failures since this date. So since 2019, We've had a problem. Now, this problem could be existing for a very long time and you may not even pick it up until you run this command. 
You may be thinking that all your domain controllers, all your Active Directory instances are running correctly and they're all in sync. And for all you know, here we go, they're not running in sync. So the next step is now you got to go troubleshoot. We're not going to go into the details around the troubleshooting. This is more network based. You may need to identify, do you have some gremlins on your network? Do you have some firewalls that are blocking connections? Do you have some subnets that are blocking connections? Do you have some routes that are not done correctly between one subnet to a different subnet, between one site to a different site? There could be various reasons. Do you have perhaps there's no, the, the secondary domain controller has lost connection altogether to the primary DC? There's authentication. Perhaps that server doesn't have a um, an IP address assigned anymore. It's gone back to static, uh, to, to dynamic from static. Could be a number of different things, but this is where you now need to go put your detective hat on and do some network and system troubleshooting. So this could be you, or you may need to go and work with your network teams to try to identify why can't server A, my DC01, communicate with DC02. Now here's something that we can try. Now I know that my DC02 is at a particular IP address. I'm gonna to try to ping it. I'm gonna do a 172. 16.1.31. So I've got my primary DC being 30, my secondary DC being 31. I'm going to try to ping it. Here we go. Oh, here we go. So there's something going on here. It knows about it, but it's not reachable. So somewhere on my network, my router does not understand how to get to 31 or it's not available anymore. So I don't need, essentially now I need to go and troubleshoot. So let's go back to our server right in here. And you'll see that things are failing. So let's do the same thing on this server. We're going to open up our um, command prompt. All right, we're going to run this as an administrator. We're going to do rep admin show repl. All right, let's see what's going on here. So we're running it against our DC servo 2, and it is failing. Connection failures. Last attempt was on 21st, results 5, access is denied. So it's trying to access DC Servo 1 because it knows about it. That's a good sign. At least there was communication at some point, but it can't see it. So then the next step is then to go and diagnose and troubleshoot those issues to understand why there could be potential replication issues between your domain controllers. It could be a number of things on your network. So you've got to go and troubleshoot that, fix that, make sure that your domain controllers are running healthy and then your replication, your rep admin commands will be useful to be able to diagnose, fix those issues and see the health between those domain controllers. So we believe we've now fixed the issue between our DC serve 01 and 02, our two domain controllers. It looks like there was some sort of network connectivity issues that we had to sort of fix up on the VMware side of things. This is on the virtual machine. So now we can come back and actually rerun a command. So we're gonna run that command again so we're just gonna go into here and type in uh, rep admin, and we're gonna do a show REPL. And now you will see that it's actually run against my source being my DC serve 01, and it's actually come up successful. So it's actually able to uh, sync with 02 and see it's done it against all of these different areas, okay, which is really, really good. We can also do another command, which is the sync all, just to make sure that it's all in sync. And there you go, it's in progress, and it's sync terminated with no errors, callback, sync all finished, and all looks pretty good. But as I said, I recommend using this tool quite often. Uh, I would run it, say, once every, uh, every month, just to make sure that everything looks healthy and is staying in sync, essentially, between your domain controllers.